Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Compliance News. The Daily Compliance News is an offering of the Compliance Podcast Network. February 12, 2019, the big headache for Anheuser-Busch edition. First up, the big four accounting firms push back against breakup proposals. In an article in City AM, the big four accounting firms have fired back at the English reg- competition regulators' proposal to break up their UK operations. In their responses, Deloitte, EY, KPMG, and PwC all resisted a suggested split. Uh, Managing director for Deloitte, David Barnes, was quoted as saying, quote, It could materially materially damage the UK's competitive position and particularly London as a leading capital market. Next up, from the Strait Times in Malaysia, a report that the trial of former Prime Minister Najib Razik over charges related to a multi-billion dollar scandal at the state sovereign investment wealth fund 1MDB has been postponed. The trial was originally set to begin on today, February 12th, but the trial has been postponed pending an appeal by Najib. At this point, there is no new trial date set. There are seven counts slated to be tried uh, in uh, this court uh, out of the 42 leveled against Najib, described as the worst kleptocracy scandal ever. So we'll have to see when and if he gets to trial. Next up, Senators Sanders and Schumer introduce a proposal in a New York Times op-ed piece, which uh, basically uh, would outlaw stock buybacks until certain criteria are met, paying all workers at least 15 bucks an hour, providing seven days paid sick leave, offering decent pensions and more reliable health benefits. Uh, These are pretty amorphous descriptions and categories, and of course, it would be difficult to define all of these. And finally, what is in your supply chain, and what is the risk in your supply chain? A very interesting post on radical compliance, Matt Kelly, the coolest guy in compliance, took a look at the Bon and Viv uh, advertisement and imbroglio that has now embroiled Anheuser-Busch because one of the actresses who uh, showed up for a casting call for this advertisement uh, was told she had to dance in a bikini, even though the role, if you saw the advertisement, had no dancing in a bikini. Uh, she was offended by this and did not go through the casting uh, process, but instead wrote a blog post about it. Uh, This blog post was not connected to the ad until after it ran on Super Bowl Sunday. All of this means that you need to be extraordinarily careful about who and what is in your supply chain and to answer any charges that you are insensitive to bullying, sexual harassment, Me Too, or a plethora of other reputational risks. You need to have a robust compliance program going forward. This is Tom Fox. If you have any ideas for the daily compliance news, please feel free to email me at tfox at tfoxlaw.com. I'd love to hear from you. As you may know, we've had several new offerings on the Compliance Podcast Network. One of those includes Popcorn and Compliance, where Jay Rosen and I take a look at compliance through the lens of movies, both current, contemporary movies, and classic movies. Also premiering in December and Finally, Mary Shirley and Lisa Fine have premiered their new podcast, Great Women on Compliance. I hope you will check that out. It's a great podcast series. We have several other offerings that are in production that will go live hopefully in Q1 of 2019. I hope you will check back to see the offerings on this Compliance Podcast Network.